Okay, so let's look at uh, graphing our data. I, I have it already. I'll delete and we put things in to show how it's done. This is LibreOffice, but it's very similar to Excel. I don't have Excel to demonstrate on my machine. So now down here for the stock solution. So when we're typing in to uh, Excel, if we want the Excel to do a calculation for us, we start with the equal sign uh, in the cell. So I did um, one drop in one cup, uh, 273 mLs. So the concentration of drops per 45 mLs, I divide that one drop by the 273 mLs. That gives me uh, drops per mL. I multiply by the 45 and that'll give me drops per 45 ml um, and then each dilution I did was uh, a division by two so I'm using the Excel to do the calculation if you do the calculation by hand you can put it in yourself and uh, I can check the calculation by clicking on the bar up the equation bar the cell bar up on top and it highlights what I'm dividing so I'm taking the stock solution and I'm dividing by two and I'm doing that for each one of these. I'm taking the solution before dividing by two. And then uh, I do that for the three solutions I have. And then I intensity uh, is the reading we get from our uh, colorometer. Let me see what that thing is called again. <coughs> Color meter free, uh, at least that's the droid version, color meter free. So these are the readings um, from the color meter free. Um, and when it's absorbing nothing, we should be reading 255 uh, from, that, from that meter. And then for our solutions, it should go down uh, from there. Um, so these are just typed in. You check the bar up here. It says a typed in number. It's not a calculation. This is a typed in number. Transmittance is um, the intensity divided by the intensity of the blank solution. So um, Now the, the first one, let me type the first one in. This is not a good data point because my most dilute solution didn't absorb anything. But otherwise, to do the calculation for me, I do an equal sign. I click on the intensity I want, slash for division, and then blank. And to copy this down, I want to hold this blank in one spot. So in front of that three, I put a dollar sign. That dollar sign holds it steady when we copy it. So I can delete the next cell and um, go back to the first cell. I check it is uh, doing intensity divided by the blank. So I'm going to copy. I could do a control or command uh, copy. Go down, get control or command V. And I'm still getting the same number back out. So it's uh, intensity divided by the intensity of the blank. So I can check all these, uh, make sure I'm dividing intensity divided by the blank. Uh, I have um, two unknowns, but oops, let me escape. I have two unknowns. Um, so I'm doing the same thing, intensity divided by the blank. Intensity divided by the blank. Uh, but when we graph, we do not graph the unknowns. So I just rearrange this. Let me um, give myself a uh, another row here. So what we want to do, uh, I've arranged it so we have a X, Y, and um, so the two columns right next to each other uh the x first and then the y so we can 
we can get rid of that crap, whatever that crap is. Uh, then we're going to, uh, I'm not including uh, the um, one that, the solution that didn't absorb anything. So I'm just gonna do everything but those, but not the unknowns. The unknowns, I don't have any concentration. So the concentration I just basically copied over. So this is another uh, way that we can do this. Uh, we can copy, copy paste, but the other way is I just did it equal. I go over to the solution I want, click on it, and I just copy it over. So the same number, 0 0.0412, 0 0.0412. That's my X column. I want it next to my absorbance column. So absorbance. Absorbance uh, is the negative based on log of the transmittance. So to do that, uh, let me delete and redo. Um, so equal, I'm doing a calculation. Negative, I start typing LOG. And you can see that uh, there's uh, some options up here. Uh, LOG is the first option. So I just complete typing that. And um, I want the LOG. Uh, let me click on that. We'll click on that. Okay. So I have my LOG. LOG and LOG 10 are the same uh, calculation. And then I'm not quite sure what the next one is. So I do open parenthesis. So now it recognizes I want the LNG. Um, so I want uh, the log of this transmittance, I over I zero. So that's over here. So I'm keeping everything in one row. So one row is one um, solution number. So I click on the I over I zero to get it in there. And then I um, close parenthesis hit enter. Um, okay, so now I have my log of, my negative log of the I over I zero, so that's absorbance. So I have my absorbance. I want to plot um, absorbance is Y and concentration is X, so I do X first and then Y. I can include the columns here, but I want to highlight the two columns, uh, including the data that I want. I'm not going to have the unknowns. We can't plot the unknowns since we don't have concentrations for them. So I'm just going to move it off to the side. And I find the insert chart. Um, again, um, I'm using LibreOffice. Excel is very similar, but the buttons look different. They're in different places and stuff like that. So um, I click on XY scatter, and I'm going to jump to chart elements. I know I have the range right. I don't need my display because I only have one uh, data set. Uh, I don't need my legend, I guess. So uh, I need a title, so absorbance versus concentration. So x-axis would be concentration. Uh, with units of drops per 45 ml. Then y-axis would be absorbance. And um, absorbance, we call the units to be absorbance units. So basically the same thing. So we're not having to write anything there for the units. Uh, we do finish and we have our graph. I'm just going to move it off my data a little bit. I move it. No, I didn't move. There it goes. A little off my data. Now to um, put in trend line, if we're in um, uh, Excel, um, LibreOffice numbers, you go right over a data point. And if you're on a PC, you do a right click. If you're on a Mac, you do a two finger click. Now it gives us some options. Insert trend line should be one of the options. We find where the equation is. We want to show that. And I like the coefficient here, which tells us how linear the line is. It usually gives us a linear option uh, up front. 
Uh, we hit OK. It gives us our equation, and it's four data points. One, two, three, four. I have one that is way off. So let me see which one's way off. Uh, Oh, whoa, 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 I have a bad number. What happened? Where'd that number come from? That's not my data. So, uh, let me delete all that. I have to delete all that. I, this number is not right. I have it written down somewhere. That number is not right. It cannot be a 751. It cannot go that high. I, Somehow got typed in wrong. So let's see if I can find my original value for this. I am just going to uh, um, modify it. I don't have my original data, so I'm going to have to go back. But I'll modify it to something that says more reasonable here. Um, so now the, the graph looks uh, more reasonable. Um, so, oh, I don't have an equation here. So I'm going to uh, delete that graph and redo it. So um, I highlight the two columns I want, uh, make room for the graph, insert graph to XY scatter, chart elements, don't need ledge concentration. X axis will be the concentration with uh, drops per 45 ml. Y axis is our absorbance. Finish that. Go to the. Uh, let me move this again. Okay. Over data point, uh, right click or two finger click, insert trend line, show equation, show coefficient, and that's a, um, a reasonable uh, data set. So we do see that there's some scattering of data, and that's uh, common, but we show a, a linear trend that as we increase our concentration, we're increasing our absorbance. Uh, the correlation here, R squared equals uh, 0.9488. The closer that is to one, the more linear of a line that we have. So we have a, a relatively linear line here. Uh, so when we write this um, anywhere else, we don't want to use that F of X or Y or X in there. We want to replace it with the actual properties. So F of X, Y is absorbance. So we say absorbance equals that 0.34659 times concentration minus the 0 0.0386. Um, so that's how we write it. Um, if we need to export this, we can two finger click on the, on the graph somewhere and uh, oops, it doesn't give us an option here. Yeah, it doesn't this time. So let me click off of the graph. Now I'll go back. And now two finger click on it or right click will allow me to do an export as image. So I can export that if uh, needed. Uh, so that's, uh, this is LibreOffice. Uh, Excel numbers are very similar to this one. Uh, and I'm just starting to learn uh, uh, Google Sheets, but Google Sheets uh, we put in the line in a totally different fashion than uh, this way. So I hope this one helps, but again, it's, it's the um, equations over here. 
So we'll look at that one again. So it's uh, for absorbance is minus base 10 log, so equal negative log, open parenthesis, the cell that contains our transmittance, close parenthesis. So that's our absorbance. And then for the transmittance, we want to do intensity divided by intensity of the blank. So um, from that, so intensity at 241 divided by the blank 255, and that gives our tra transmittance of 0.945. Uh, 